discipline is a skill that can help you achieve your goals and improve your well-being. It can also help you practice English more effectively and consistently. According to the results of my web search, there are some common tips and techniques that can help you build self-discipline. Here are some of them. Set smart goals for your English learning. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For example, instead of saying, I want to improve my English, you could say, I want to read one English book per month and write a summary of each chapter in English. Make practice a habit. Practicing English regularly can help you master the language and make it easier to stay disciplined. You can create a routine or a schedule for your practice sessions and stick to it. For example, you could practice English for 30 minutes every morning or evening. Find the meaning and joy in your work. Learning English can be more enjoyable and rewarding if you focus on the reasons why you want to learn it and how it can benefit you. You can also choose activities that interest you and make you happy, such as watching movies, listening to music, or playing games in English. Use positive reinforcement. Rewarding yourself for your progress and achievements can motivate you to keep going and overcome challenges. You can also use positive affirmations and self-talk to boost your confidence and self-esteem. For example, you could say, I am proud of myself for learning English or I can do this. Seek support from others. Learning English with friends or other learners can make it more fun and social. You can also get feedback, advice, and encouragement from others who share your goals or have more experience. You can join online communities, language exchange apps, or classes to connect with other English learners. I hope these tips are helpful for you. If you want to learn more about how to build self-discipline, you can check out the articles I referenced in my response. They contain more information and examples on how to develop the skill. I wish you all the best in your English learning journey.